lots of boys love dinosaurs, but I'm not sure that, that there's going to be every boy that will be able to have a huge sort of almost life-size dinosaur to ride on. But it, I think, you know, it's, it's the sort of, if you like, the pinnacle of a range of things that they've got for boys. So obviously there's things within that range that, that are for every kind of um, pocket so that uh, every family can afford to have toys for their children. Oh, what? Where technology can help and enhance that play pattern, we, we, will, we will embrace it. So, um, for example, on the stand today, we have uh, our railways can be controlled by your iPad or by your iPhone. So bringing it in where it makes sense. Um, but at the, at the heart of the matter is to make sure that it's fun and uh, that kids enjoy it. It has been tough. Um, we've had um, minimal growth across the group um, it's been fairly flat in terms of sales uh, but we've had to you know kind of challenge and develop within our within our categories I have had to go on the most amazing scooter today, a motorised scooter and I've got to say it was at six o'clock in the morning before there was anybody that I could run over um, but it was fantastic in the halls. That was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> That's going to be my favourite, I think, of the day. <laughs> From maybe small things that were introduced into kind of plush toys so that you know they, they spoke or they moved all the way through to kind of more um, tablets and technology and app games um, I would say that this year um, it's more integrated so we haven't seen one particular thing come through in 2012 we definitely saw lots of apps and app toys and I think that was because obviously um, tablets were becoming more prevalent for parents <laughs> 